Welcome, Gun Runner. Hello everybody, Q&A Care the Laird here and I'm back with another little mini arcade review and those who follow my channel regularly might remember me looking at the Space Invaders one you can see in the background here um, uh, what, a couple of months ago on the channel I think it was and um, I mentioned in that review that I picked up a big bundle of these um, mini arcades by a company called Basic Fun uh, strange name I know but that's what they're called and uh, you can actually see them all in this picture I put them all together so I've got Gallagher, Pac-Man, Space Invaders and Centipedes you can see here I'll get round to them all in due course but I thought in the next one we'd look at Centipede now I did mention I think in that Space Invaders review they're all in really good condition but I actually was um, took them all out of the box and noticed that the Centipede one actually isn't the Centipede one is absolutely battered I'm guessing that the guy I bought these from this is probably the first one he bought and it's probably the most well used um, because it's got funny stains on it like the plastic's gone yellow um, bits of stickers are ripped and stuff so it's not in the greatest condition but it works so that's that's the main thing so I can still show you what it's about and uh, as I said on the Space Invaders for years well these ones have been out for years these were actually some of the first um, mini arcades to come along I think even before the my arcade ones these were released but um they are still available, you can still buy them, they've been out years, so I'm a bit slow, I suppose, off the mark in getting uh, these reviewed and looking at them, but it's still interesting anyway, and you always seem to like it when I look at these mini arcades, uh, so yeah, I always find them quite interesting to see um, how close they get to actually replicating what they're trying to do. The Space Invaders one was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought it was going to be rubbish, because a lot of LCD games are, because the problem is, is the movement, because they can only move in in uh, blocks um, they don't have small, small movement because the way they they don't use pixel LCDs they use those LCD where the images are imprinted in the LCD and they just light up the image as needed on the screen so because of that they're quite often rubbish like the Pac-Man ones in particular are usually really bad because Pac-Man just doesn't really work very well on that kind of LCD screen but yeah we're gonna have a look at Centipede um, today so it's an officially Atari licensed uh, game uh, as you can see by the sort of art that they've put on it. Uh, they're a strange shape, these cabs, but they sort of have this art at the side. I've never known why they're so wide um, and then so thin at the side. So there's no side art um, on this one like there was on the the um, Space Invaders one, which is strange because the Gallagher one does have side art, um, but this one doesn't. And the Pac-Man one doesn't either. And the Pac-Man one is actually a different shape, um, which is strange as well. But yeah, um, we have a on off switch, uh, a sound switch, start, pause, fire, and a four way joystick, as you can probably see. Um, the arcade obviously used a trackball, but on these things it's a joystick. Um, marquee, and then on the back, obviously, it's just got the fact that it's made by Basic Fun and it's licensed from Atari Interactive, um, as I say. And it takes three AA batteries. I always find it really annoying when they take three. Because I've got a rechargeable battery charger that I keep in my uh, office for my mouse, for my wireless mouse. And it only takes two batteries. Uh, it's only a little one. That's all I need because my, my mouse only takes one battery. But, so when I get one of these, I've always got two batteries that are charged. So I always have to swap some around and charge next to battery, which is kind of annoying. But, you know, can't be helped. But yeah, three AAs. Um, and that's about it, really. There's nothing else to show you about the unit. Uh, so we'll switch it on. And hopefully you can see it okay. I'm looking, trying to look through the camera to check that um, it's nice and visible. But if I press on, the screen comes up. There's quite a lot of reflection because there is a window behind me. But one thing I noticed straight away is, a big difference between this and the Space Invaders one is, um, and you might have spotted it as well if you watched that reviews, it's in colour. Um, the uh, Space Invaders one was uh, monochrome. It's black and white. Whereas this one has actually got a colour display. So that's that's um, remarkable um, to, to start with, but we'll play it. I'm going to try and see if I can get it a bit closer to the camera. If I put it there, how does that look? You can see it, can't you? Um, so let's try doing that then. Is it fire to start? No, it's still oh, 
Oh dear, so this is, you can see this is still using the, the whole character blocks, but it really doesn't work very well at all. Oh god. But trying to look at it through the camera is actually impossible. I'm trying to play it through the camera so you can see it, um, which I'm finding incredibly difficult. Oh dear, this is a very, very um, rough representation of the game, isn't it? They've kind of got the sounds right, but the problem is it's clearly only got one channel because the sounds keep um, interrupting each other. But I've died already. Because it's really hard to play through the camera. You can't shoot fast enough. That's one of the big problems. But the way everything moves, I mean, it's such a zoomed in display. I mean, look at the sections of centipede and that are huge. Um, I was actually hoping this would be good after the centipede. Uh, sorry, centipede. The Space Invaders one being far better than I thought it was going to be. But this isn't good. This is bloody terrible, in fact. Um, this is such a poor representation of Centipede. I mean, it's nice that they kind of have tried to put it in colour, but yeah, this is not good, is it? I mean, things I'm getting right underneath them as they're coming down the screen, and you still don't fucking hit them. Oh, God. I mean, what even hit me then? I didn't even see it. Oh, my God. The play field just isn't big enough to be able to play the game properly. And that's supposed to be a spider, and it just looks like a another centipede section. I actually thought I was going to do it then. And when you die there, it doesn't respawn the centipede like it does um, on the real game properly. It kind of starts to appear in chunks again. It's really, really strange. Oh, God. Right, that time I managed to shoot it. But it's really hard to see your shots. I mean, look at that, and half the time I don't even die. I mean, that one, I could see my bullet going up and it still didn't die. I mean, that's absolutely nuts. I'm going to have one more play. Right, so I destroyed the centipede that time. Oh, God, this is not Centipede. And Centipede is, is one of my favourite arcade games, one of my favourite games full stop, actually, ever. I'm obsessed with Centipede, which is why, um, you know, I have a Centipede cover on my phone, I have a Centipede T-shirt that I wear all the time. Um, I absolutely love Centipede, I adore the game, but this is not Centipede. In fact, I like, I like Millipede even more, but, you know, Millipede's not as well known as Centipede. So whenever you get merchandise, it's all centipede. I've actually got a centipede um, mug as well that I drink my tea out of in the mornings. I just realised I forgot to show you that you do have the, the vertical movement as well as the horizontal. Not that it makes much difference. Because it's such a small play area, it's almost pointless using the vertical movement. But that is it. It's Yeah, this isn't good, is it? Um, I can't recommend this at all. This is... Uh, it looks right when you see it like that, but the play field is too small. Um, the collision detection is terrible. Um, you can't really shoot fast enough. Uh, the centipede looks horrendous. Um, the main problem is the tiny play field, I think, more than anything. But there's a litany of problems with this thing. Um, it really is um, not good at all. Uh, in fact, I was just mentioning how much I love centipede. I might have shown this on the video before, but that's my phone cover there. Um, yeah, and I designed that myself. I took some images and, and kind of put them together to make that uh, to be the right size for my, my Google Pixel. So yeah, that's just an unrelated thing, but it was next to the next to the desk here where I'm filming, so I thought you might like to see my centipede phone cover. But that's it. That's my review of the, 
the centipede mini arcade by basic fun um it's very basic and it's not very fun it's pretty rubbish in fact um so if you were thinking about getting this one you've seen it and wonder what it's like yeah don't bother it's rubbish um but that's it really um as always i thank you for watching i've been the laird and i'll see you all again for another video very soon bye bye